man with two hands and a fighting chance is now the official WWE superstar, at least according to James Ellsworth, who revealed the last night that he's been offered a contract. Dean Ambrose was given the night off by SmackDown commissioner Shane McMahon following his recent actions and after much protest, he was taken off the building. Came AJ Styles to have a laugh at how Ellsworth was part of the WWE locker room and proposed a match between the two with stipulation attached. If Ellsworth would win, he would become a full-fledged member of SmackDown and if Styles win won, the Ellsworth's contract would be terminated. To make matters doubly interesting, Ellsworth proposed that if he were to win, he would like to have a little shot in the future, which was agreed upon. In the match, the phenomenal one was expected to win with ease and remain on the top throughout, and even with Ambrose banned from the ring. He somehow popped in the disguised as a hockey player and attacked Styles. The distraction allowed Ellsworth to hit Styles with a pinpoint super kick that left his feet and tagged within the ropes. With time on his side, Ellsworth climbed the ladder and grabbed the contract and future title shot. In a week of go home shows, Raw's rating tickled up slightly with a 4% increase, while SmackDown's rating saw a drastic increase of 42% following the last week's record low for USA due to stiff competition from the historic election. SmackDown's increase had more to do with the milestone 100th episode and the promoted returns of The Edge and The Undertaker than any anticipation for Survival Series. The last night's WWE SmackDown featuring the fallout from Survivor Series and James Ellsworth vs WWE World Heavy Champion AJ Styles in the ladder match main event drew 2.505 million viewers. Which this is the down 8% from the last week's 2.725 million viewers for the SmackDown 1900th episode. But SmackDown was number one for the night on the cable in viewership and number one in the 1849 demographic. Though the show featured Shane McMahon, an intercontinental title match and a big angle for James Ellsworth, none of those things were announced in advance. It's also a holiday week in the United States and while Thanksgiving obviously does not fall on Tuesday, impending travel plans or preparations could have impacted the size of the audience. Guys, the James Ellsworth is not supposed to be a big attraction and there is a comedic element designed to break up the monotony of the feared and keep it interesting. Some people still haven't figured out how this works. It is not creative or WWE who is making Ellsworth the big attraction. It's the fans. In Raw, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho friendship, the sign of reunion of two-third part of S.H.I.E.L.D. among Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, and in the end, the return of Goldberg and his undisputed win over Brock Lesnar had catch the glimpse of the viewers and fans and makes slightly top over the SmackDown. So, there is a new challenge for SmackDown Commissioner Shane McMahon to do some new and different. So, he played the card of James Ellsworth to make the WWE Heavyweight Championship a trio. It's entertainment, bozo. Nobody cares about wrestling skill or talent. The fans want what the fans want. Upcoming TLC pay-per-view, all fans and viewers will have eyes on WWE Heavyweight Championship match and the reunion of all the three members of the Shield.